<coughs> let's talk about uh, regular expressions. Regular expressions are one of the key features of uh, Perl. Many people associate a lot uh, Perl and regular expressions, even though regular expressions were uh, in use uh, before Perl and the many other languages and tools offer you the uh, use of regular expressions. But in Perl, it's so so much embedded in language that uh, people using Perl are using a lot of regular expressions. So first of all, what are regular expressions good for, or regexes, or there are different names we can use. One of them is to decide if a, decide if a string is part of a larger string. As opposed to index, the function index, that can check if a certain exact string can be found in an other string, regexes if, uh, allow us to check whether a fuzzy string or a string that that uh, not exact uh, can be found in a bigger string. For example, we, we should we would like to check whether there is a let number that at least four digits long in uh, a bigger string that uh, regexes can do. Another thing that regexes can do is validate uh, import uh, import input data, and that's used a lot. So, for example, again, uh, you're expecting uh, a string that contains only digits, let's say, and then you can easily check, and you don't care how many uh, digits, or uh, you, or it can contain three digits and four letters, and you don't care exactly what digits and, and letters, but you can check these things. Um, then, for example, if you're looking for repetitions in a string, uh, or you're trying to uh, fetch parts of a string. So for example, you have a again a, a long long string and uh, there are embedded numbers in there and you would like to fetch these numbers out of the string. So these are the examples where regular expressions can be used. Now, a couple of examples just to see how uh, for in more detail. For example, you would like to decide which one is a number and then think about it a little bit. People can argue whether whether which one is a number, so is this a number? It's m almost like an IP number, but it's not really a number most of the people think. Is ABC a number? Well, some people think that's a hexa, so it's okay. Uh, it depends on, on your application to decide what you expect as a number. Um, then uh, check whether there is a word um, that appears three times in the same string without knowing upfront which word. Uh, or you have a huge text and you would like to replace every occurrence of Perl with the word Java. Well, except that you also have Perla in the, the text, so you don't want to change the name to Java. Um, and then, uh, let's say phone numbers. You have a bunch of phone numbers here, and you would like to check whether the string you got is, is a phone number, but it can look like this, or, or this, or or even this, and you would like to be flexible in accep ex accepting how the number is typed in. Um, then maybe something more useful, you have a network and you have the network data and you'd like to see whether credit cards are being passed there, that can be really useful for some. Um, or you're looking for passwords, again in some text and surrounding text. Uh, so you're looking for the, the word password and then some text around it. Or you might have a log, log like this and you would like to fetch the errors. Now if you're using simple checking the word error then y you will find both this and this. And Well this is the level, so this is what you're looking for, uh, or something that at level error. Um, but this is it at level info which has the string error in it and you would only want to match this. So these are uh, cases where regular expressions can be really useful.